there is some firm stuff going on, I promise you. Is that from dancing? No, it, I don't know what, it's just, it's just natural, I think. I think it was the fact that I didn't have a banana till I was six, I think that helped. <laughs> Susie? Uh, where to go from that? Um, well, um, we've been talking about Alcatraz at the, at the top of the show and um, it actually fits into the theme of what I was going to talk about today which is um, our difficulty in pronouncing different words and it's or foreign words particularly and it's not just us, um, it happens uh, to everyone, you know we get a, a foreign import of a word and we just think mm, it doesn't feel very familiar so we change it. Um, and Alcatraz actually uh, was Old Spanish for pelican and the island was named because of the pelicans that, uh, that would flock there and it was known as the island of the pelicans um, and that in turn goes back to the Arabic for the diver um, describing the bird's habits and when people spotted another bird which today we call um, the albatross they also called it Alcatraz but people of different tongues who weren't Spanish found that very difficult to pronounce. And because albus is the Latin for white and the bird was white, they eventually changed Alcatraz to albatross. Ah. Oh. And a little bit similar. So those two actually go back to the same words and the island is connected. Um, but what I was going to talk about was uh, lieutenant, because I'm often asked, why is there an F in the way we pronounce lieutenant when it's spelled lieutenant, which is pretty much the way that the Americans uh, pronounce it. And the reason for the different pronunciation is that the Americans actually get it right. They go back to the French original, which was lieu, meaning place, and tenant, meaning holding. And um, because a lieutenant would often hold the place for somebody who was more senior and they would act on their behalf. Um, so as I say, lieutenant, the American way, is closer to the French original. And we think that we got it wrong because either we couldn't pronounce lieutenant, because it is quite hard, um, and or because we saw the U in the word and thought it looked like a V, so it became love tenant and eventually went on to become an F. Thank you, Susan. The score of our 7753, Letters for Mecca. Uh, can I have a vowel, please? Thank you. I. A consonant? H. <laughs> 